I get restless because there is nothing really there, you know. You have a son, if I'm correct? A son, yes. Yes, is he already aware of what daddy's doing? Oh yeah, he's 10 years old, he definitely knows. Okay, and what sure. does he think of it? Oh, I think it's great, you know, he knows I gotta go away and work and uh, I mean, he doesn't really have any, I mean, of course he misses me and I miss him, you know, but that's how it is sometimes, people work not directly in home, you know, but you know, I try to go out for a short uh, period of time and go back home again. So it has influenced your uh, career activities uh, in that way? Uh, both yes and no. I've been lucky for the last couple of years to only have short tours, you know, like three weeks and then go home and so on. So it's, it's not so heavy. And I really try, you know, when we're home, try to have quality time and stuff, you know. Just before Christmas, uh, I mean, his favorite band is Slipknot, so I, I took him to um, to uh, Paris to see them. You know, they hooked me up with some backstage stuff, and so he can hang around with them and stuff. And he, yeah, really likes it. You know. When he was young, did you play certain music to him that to maybe educate him in that way? No, not really. I mean, for him, he can listen to whatever he wants. I never want to push him in any genre. But I, I mean, when he was a kid, uh, he was like totally into Rammstein and stuff, you know. And it was kind of funny because uh, one time uh, Till and Flasche uh, stayed at my place for a weekend and he couldn't believe his eyes that uh, the singer and the keyboard player was there, you know. It was really funny, you know. Okay, because is he from, you, you were married twice, I think? Uh, yeah. Is he from your first or second? No, from my second one. So, and is that still uh, stable? You, he lives with you or? Uh, I don't see a ring. <laughs> no, no, that's No, right. no. No, I'm divorced again. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you have the chance to see him then uh, every now and then? Every no, week. we have him one week each, so... Okay. Because yeah. I, I saw um, you live in, uh, correct me if I am um, pronounce it not correctly, Palbury, Palbury? Yeah. And was that uh, on purpose? I saw some pictures and I, I, I looked it up on the Google Maps and mm -hmm. it seemed pretty desolate. Yeah. Is that on purpose that you were? were yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, when you're on tour, you're always in the big cities and stuff, you know. And it's really nice to uh, go home in, in, you know, where you can, you know, have everything for yourself and, yeah, do your things and uh, don't have to be bothered by anything or anyone. Isolation is in that case a good thing for you. Oh yeah, it's very good. I mean, also that's where I get all my inspirations from writing and stuff, you know. So. Okay, but. Uh, I also read that you own the village, or is that not true? Yeah, that's the village. Uh, how, how, how must I see that? Owning a village? is that? Uh, well, you know, it started of uh, renting an apartment there uh, in a house and uh, also renting a place for my studio. And the more I grew, the more space I needed. So I started renting more rooms from this house and more and more. And then, you know, he asked me if I wanted to buy it, you know. And then uh, he asked me if I wanted to buy the house where the apartment was in, and he just kept on going like that, you know. So at the end, he said, just buy the whole shit. Okay, so if bands come and record at your studio, they have a chance to stay there as well? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, besides the isol isolation that maybe fuels also your music, do you also, yeah, you would you say this place influences you creatively as well? Yeah, it's really nice you get restless because I'm a restless person and I get my creativity to start going, you know. Can you name some examples maybe of how, how it influences you? Do you go out and walk there or...? Is no, not really. I mean, like, like I said, you know, I get restless for, because there is nothing really there, you know. And uh, that really triggers me to start working on stuff. So all your busy. energy gets bundled then uh, yeah. to... Uh, okay. And, yeah, because... Would you say a regular day for you, does it start early in the morning when you... Yeah, it depends. If it's my week to have my son, you know, we get up at 6.30 in the morning, get breakfast, he goes to school, I go down to work, I pick him up at 5, you know. And uh, <clears throat> if I'm not too busy, you know, then uh, I'll stay up all night, you know, with him, you know. And uh, some nights when I have too much work to do, when he goes to bed, I go down and work again. But it's for you... In that case, maybe like the, the nine to five r routine a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. And depending on how creative you are, it goes yeah, to the night. Exactly. Okay. Yeah.